If I had known what the most popular major was at the world's top universities, that would have resolved so many anxieties I had around picking a major. Because when I walked onto that campus my freshman year, I knew what I wanted to major in, but I also didn't think it was a good idea. That's because I had just applied to those top universities and I got rejected harder than the Avengers trying to pick up Thor's hammer. Since I had good grades and good test scores, I figured the reason why I got rejected was because of what I put for my major. Now, over 15 years later, I have a PhD in economics from Yale and I realize how wrong I was as a freshman because economics is the most popular major at Yale, also the most popular major at Harvard, but at Yale, it's been the most popular one for at least 10 years. And once you understand the four reasons why it's so popular, you're gonna run to switch your major faster than freshmen when they hear a table calling out free pizza. The first reason is totally going to change how you see the major and it's gonna give you more confidence that you'll be able to get a job. That was one of my biggest worries was what kind of a job would I get if I majored in economics? And I see a lot of students today making those kind of associations with their majors. They say, if I want to major in management, then I can go and manage a business. Or if I major in marketing, then I can go into a marketing department. They see this connection, but when they get to economics, they wonder, what am I going to do with that? Even more, they look at the job listings and they see all these jobs that say any business major may apply, and they see that economics is in a social science department. Economics looks like the guy sitting on the curb in front of a really cool house party. And that's why the most popular major in the nation is business. Yet at Yale, business isn't even in the top five of majors. How do Yaleys overcome this pull to major in business? Is it because their business school is bad? Well, no, actually several rankings place Yale School of Management as one of the best business schools in the world. There's a reason why some people call Yale SOM the school of money. Well, if business is one of the most popular majors in America, why aren't the Yale students taking advantage of such a great business school? Well, it's the same reason why Harvard undergraduates don't take advantage of the Harvard Business School and why Chicago undergraduates don't take advantage of the Chicago Booth School of Business. It's because these universities do not offer business as an undergraduate degree and companies know this. And so when you apply with economics, even if it comes from a social science department, they see that as a business degree. Economics prepares you for any job in business. Except that's a bit of a lie. Economics prepares you for a certain type of job, and that gets us into the second reason why economics is so popular. It used to be that the Ivy League schools were about creating well-rounded students, but when I was at Yale, I was told that a well-rounded Yale graduate is somebody who can go from the commencement stage and roll right down to Wall Street. And the statistics bear this out. For about 20% of Yale graduates, their first job is in finance. That's why it's not surprising that about four years after graduation, the average Yale salary is $114,000. You're probably looking at that and thinking, whoa, that's amazing. But if you're majoring in economics, you probably need to adjust your expectations because it turns out that economics majors just aren't getting those average jobs. They're getting something much better about 23% better. And this isn't something specific to Yale. If you look across universities, economics majors are consistently making more money than the average major in their school. And we've done a video on this where we looked at how much the economics major caused that salary increase. And that's the interesting thing about economics. It doesn't just prepare you for jobs. It uniquely prepares you for high paying careers. The third reason economics is so popular requires us to look into the future. Where do you want to be in five years? Maybe your hope and dream is to become the next viral sensation on threads. If threads is even around in five years, if you're watching this video in 2028, please let me know below if threads is still a thing. For a lot of students, however, the answer for where they'll be in the next five years is graduate school. At least that's what their hopes and dreams are. And it's no different for students at Yale. About 75% of students at graduation say that 
they are going immediately into graduate school or they plan to go back to graduate school within the next five years. It's actually a lot. Maybe they're just worried that a Yale degree isn't worth that much on its own. Well, a lot of those students, I imagine, want to go on and get an MBA. So do they have a shot even at Yale if they were to come back to get an MBA if they majored in economics? According to the business school's admissions, absolutely. Economics is such a popular major that it's the only one mentioned specifically on the admissions page. In fact, it's not just at Yale that it's like this. If you go over and look at the Harvard Business School, they also name economics as the single most popular major among students. So let me be clear about what I'm saying here. I'm not saying that economics is worthless if you don't go to graduate school. That is a misconception and I hate hearing that. What I'm saying is economics is a really good major to prepare you for graduate school. For this final one, we need to ask ourselves, when did economics become the most popular major at Yale? I'm actually gonna do a full breakdown of trends in Yale's majors in my newsletter. So if you wanna read that, you can go ahead and find a link to that underneath the subscribe button. So at Yale, economics reached its peak popularity in 2016, when 16% of students were graduating with a degree in economics. That is wild. One in six students was walking away with an economics diploma. Anyway, well, <laughs> that was the peak popularity, but it first became popular in 2012. Now, what was special about 2012? It wasn't 2012 itself that was special. It was when those students started four years earlier in the fall of 2008. When those students were in their first semester, probably in their first economics class, they were witnessing the fall of Lehman Brothers, the beginning of the Great Recession. They were living through some of the biggest economic events of our lifetime, and their lives were dominated by headlines talking about Ben Bernanke and the Fed, the Treasury, stimulus plans going into the elections, they saw economics as one of the most dominant narratives of their lives. Not only that, they were looking at a life when they would graduate into possibly some of the highest unemployment that we had been facing in decades. And they asked themselves, which major is going to best prepare me for that world? And we already talked about those parts, but there was also something else. These students were curious. They wanted to know what was going on around them. How could they explain the turmoil? And that's the final reason why economics became so popular. It addresses interesting questions and actually helps us understand the world. Now, you might be thinking, hey, I'm set as soon as I major in economics, but that's just not the case because so many students go through and ruin their economics major with some of the choices they make through school. Fortunately, they're all avoidable. You just need to watch this video to help you get in the right place.